Target. Target Swim is 30% off. I don't think I'm gonna spend any money on swimsuits. This orange is cute. These are so cute. I'm feeling some type of way because I ordered a foot massager that was supposed to be delivered today. <laughs> Amazon said that they attempted the delivery. I ordered it last night only because they said they were going to deliver it today. My address is on the package. So if the leasing office is closed and I specifically said in the delivery instructions to leave it at my front door, how many items did I get? I got four items from Target. I just don't understand. <laughs> my total was $34.07 and I used my $25 gift card. So my total ended up being $9.07. I got a black ribbed tank top. Just something to wear in the house. I needed some more makeup remover wipes. Got some of those. Because if you guys see my last vlog. Um. After Stephanie's dinner, I came home. I was ready to take my makeup off and couldn't find any makeup wipes. So I ended up having to use Witch Hazel. I got some more Cetaphil. And, oh. Some mouthwash. It's like I should do a TikTok, but I just don't care enough. Thank you, Jesus. Let's start this thing up now. My feet hurt. Okay. Okay, okay. I need a little bit more intense. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I don't need more intensity. Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mariah Perry, and I'm back again with another video. Today is Sunday, and I wanted to vlog today because I haven't posted in three weeks. So I want to update you guys before I leave the house. For those of you that don't know, I am in the Army. For two weeks each year, we have this thing called annual training where we have to go and have annual training for the Army. So I've been gone for 14 days, and I haven't posted because I didn't have anything pre-recorded, and I didn't vlog during. AT so I'm finally back home this week was a little rough um, I was readjusting to coming back home and I don't know I feel like something came over me I was feeling a little bit under the weather but I am feeling a little bit better today so I do want to go outside I may still sound a little bit congested so I apologize if that is cringy but I do want to vlog I miss you guys and I'm ready to get back uploading so for this Sunday I need to go to TJ Maxx slash home goods Ulta I have an Ulta pickup I need to stop by Target I have a few places I need to go to get some things. This weekend coming up, I have a bachelorette weekend that I'm attending for my girl, Danny. I am very excited to see her. I'm excited to see Raina too and meet some of Danny's friends, meet the other bridesmaids. So that should be fun. I'm just getting my life together because I know I won't be able to during the week after work or during my lunch breaks because I know I have a lot coming up with work. Enough chit chat. Let's go ahead and get out of this house. It's almost 11 o'clock and I'm trying to be in it now i also have to go get my toes done i have a nail appointment on thursday i took friday off yeah we have some things coming it won't be in this vlog because i don't know we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see make sure you guys are subscribed hit the subscribe button give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below this is the scent of the day my dad got this for me for was this for my birthday or christmas i don't know this is called dylan blue i just threw on my brother's t-shirt, he has a clothing line, Art Dealers Anonymous. And I have on, and I also put on some biker shorts because it's hot outside. Yeah, I'm in Home Goods and TJ Maxx. The stores are combined. Look at this bench, it is so cute. My main reason of being in here is because I need some new pillows and some kitchen towels and possibly a kitchen rug. Um, if I feel up for it, I'll also try Ross if I can't find anything in here. These feel good. This two pack is for $19.99. Made it to Ulta. 
I went into Ulta, but my pickup order isn't ready. Um, I'll probably try to swing back by here after I get my nails done. But if not, I'll come back during the week to pick it up. But I did end up getting a new foundation. I'm excited to try it. It looks like it blends pretty well, but if I don't like it, I'll end up returning it. So I'll try to do my face sometime this week to see if I like it. And then if I don't like it, I'll return it. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I have the AC blowing because it's hot. But yeah, time to go get my nails done. They opened at 12 and it's currently 12.23. So I'm trying to get there before it gets too busy. It probably is already busy, but... I need my nails done, so we're gonna go. Y'all, I'm leaving the nail salon because they had way too many people and I just don't have time to wait or I just don't have the patience right now. So I have two stops left. I need to go to Target, which I'm about to pull up into right now. And I need to go to the beauty supply store. While I'm in Target, I'm gonna stop and get me a drink because I'm a little dehydrated and it's hot. Y'all, I low key want one. I'm about to buy the scrub, mommy. Even though I don't need a $4 sponge. <laughs> Alright, guys, I made it back home, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got from each store that I went to. First place I went to was Home Goods and TJ Maxx. And I got some pillows. I'll show you guys that in a second. And I got these kitchen towels, just black and white. And these were $9.99. And I also ended up getting another frying pan because I only have one and I'm tired of relying on that one frying pan. For example, this morning when I went to make breakfast, it was in the dishwasher being washed. I forgot that it was dirty. So I had to get another frying pan. So now I have two frying pans. <laughs> and then from Ulta, I got this foundation. Like I told you guys earlier, my pickup order wasn't ready. So I have to go back to Ulta sometime this week to pick that up. I really wanted to do an online order because they were doing five times the points for a pickup order. So that's the reason why I did that. From Target, I got a scrub mommy, some more feminine wash, the Swiffer Wet Jet refill because I'm running low on this. And I feel like I mop or swiffer every other day. And from the beauty supply store, I was able to get two lip glosses. This is my favorite lip gloss ever. And I did get three packs of flexi rods. I did get three packs of flexi rods because each pack only comes with three. And I really wanted 10, but these, one pack is $4.99, which I thought was ridiculous, but whatever. I really wanted these so I can do some heatless curls, so I'm going to try it out tonight and see how I look in the morning. Here's the pillows. I got the Serta brand. This was $24.99, and they feel really good. I got two of them. I'm about to put some flexi rods in them, the ones that I showed you guys earlier to see what it's gonna look like in the morning just to test it out. Cause I don't wanna put any more heat on my hair. And I feel like the flexi rods will help bring this style back to life. Here we go. Y'all this better look good in the morning. So I'm about to do three sections. This is not a tutorial by the way. Now I'm feeling like I should've got another pack. So I could have 12 rollers in my head. But we're gonna make this work. And if this comes out good, I can film a TikTok tomorrow. I don't know what this is, y'all, but this is what I got. See, I got this one to sit up. She's eating. This one giving me trouble. Should I have added hair serum? This one I'm practicing right now because I really don't know. Do I have hairspray? Like, it looks like this curl gonna be on. Y'all look at my hair. Oh, my knees is bad. I might have to go back and get some more. more some more of these. Is this a bad idea? This is gonna be so uncomfortable. 
I will keep gonna take them out tonight, but I'm gonna keep them in. I'm gonna keep them in as long as I can. I just don't see myself going to sleep with these in my head tonight. After this, I need to clean the kitchen, maybe clean my bathroom because it needs a good little deep clean. Probably get on my laptop. I'm gonna do a 360 so y'all can see how crazy I look. Like what? This one won't. You see what I'm saying? Like that just don't look right, but yeah. So I'm back. It's about time for me to start getting ready for bed. But I don't think I'm about to go to sleep with these in, mainly because they are a little uncomfortable and I don't have any setting spray for my hair. And these have been in for a few hours. I have to go back to the beauty supply store and get some setting spray for these flexi rods. And I'm thinking about also getting another pack because I have three sections with three flexi rods in each section. Or do you guys think that's enough? Honestly, don't know. But yeah, I want to be comfortable tonight and I just want to be smart about what I'm doing with my hair. And I just feel like that was not smart. And I'm finna sleep good tonight. So I'm taking these out. I'm taking these bad boys out. They were probably in for like five hours. Got a little, a little curl to it. But yeah. It just wasn't making sense. But that one came out nice. Kind of. I just know they're going to eat once I have some setting spray. This one back here got a little curl to it. So we're going to try to go to the beauty supply store again tomorrow and redo this flexi rod set on my straight hair. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my hair during this bachelorette weekend. So I'm using this week as trial and error. Good morning, y'all. It is early in the morning it's currently 8 39 a.m and i'm getting ready to make some breakfast so i can get my day started i'm just excited to use my new frying pan i washed it already i'm just gonna make the regular regular toast bacon and eggs so let's see. let me wash my hands today's gonna be a very busy day i almost don't want to go the plan was for me to work, work, work all morning and then during my lunch break go get my toes done. But I just don't, I don't see me having the time to even get my toes done this afternoon. I still have to go to Ulta to pick up my Ulta package. With the way work is looking, I'm not even going to be able to enjoy my lunch break properly because I'm going to be thinking about all the things that need to be done when I get back from my lunch break. I'm the type of person who likes to get a lot of her work done in the morning so the afternoon is kind of chill. So yeah, work is my main priority. If I make it to Ulta today, great. If I make it to the nail salon later, great. But I want to have a clean slate for tomorrow because we're off tomorrow and I want to enjoy my day off. Y'all, this frying pan is big. I can make a mean omelet in here. So I low key feel bad because I haven't been to the gym in let's see how many days, five days. And that's only because one, I wasn't feeling good and two, I got my hair done. I'm not trying to sweat my hair out already. And usually I don't get blowouts during the summer. The only reason I got a blowout during the summer is because one, I needed a trim and two, it was just a quick little one, two hairstyle that could get me. That could get me to my next hair point. Now the funny thing is I actually ordered a V part wig. And y'all know I don't really like wearing wigs, but I thought it would be something cute, a cute protective style. It's a curly wig. I'm gonna show you guys in a different video. I'm gonna do a separate video for that specifically yes yeah, a curly v part wig so essentially i would have 90 percent of my hair braided underneath and then a little bit of leave out at the top in the middle or on the side depending if i do a side or a middle part but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna rock a middle part and i'm also going to use those flexi bras for that hairstyle as well something about now this pin is so nice i like this ring the reason why I got this frying pan is because when I went to Las Vegas 
like three years ago, the Airbnb that I stayed at had this brand of pants and they work really good. They're just so satisfying. All right, y'all, I didn't burn the bacon this time. What y'all gonna say now? Y'all, I made some mac and cheese. Would you believe it? What's up, y'all? The holiday is officially over, and now it's time to pick up the pace. And now I am officially preparing to leave for my bachelorette weekend this Friday. Today is Wednesday, and so, so much has happened. I got my toes done, um, and I also went to Ulta to pick up my pickup order. I can show you guys what I got shortly, but also a Pretty Little Thing package has arrived, and I want to show you guys a little bit of what I got. I mean, it's not much, but here's my package. I can't remember if I showed you guys, but I have a few things from Shein over here. So everything in this corner is for the Bachelorette weekend. And we get to add this package to the stash. So during my lunch break, I'm going to get a wax. And tomorrow I'm getting my nails done. So I got my toes done. I just need to get my nails done. But I just want to go ahead and open this package to make sure that I have everything that I need in here. I plan on filming a bachelorette weekend lookbook with all of these outfits. There's just so much that is planned for the bride and I'm just so excited and I'm so happy that I'm able to celebrate with her. Dang these jeans, don't these jeans look big? They don't even look like they're gonna fit. There's just no way I ordered a size 16. That's the UK size. I just know these better fit. There's no way. There's no way. Y'all, why are these so big? They come all the way up. Y'all see how high these come? These do not fit me. You order a tall and they add more inches to the waist. I need a size 12 tall. What is this? They go all the way down, but they do not fit me. <sighs> That's a dub. Um, I'm low key upset those did not fit because, so I wear a size 12 in jeans and Pretty Little Thing has a tall section. So I assume that the jeans will be the same size, but just longer in length. Anyway, I ordered these heels, just a nice black heel because, I mean, you can't go wrong with black. There's some detail on it. Well, these, see, these look like they're gonna fit. This we try on everything now, but these, these kind of fit, I guess. I don't know, I might need to get them. <sighs> this is too much, honey. This is too much. So I need some safety pins. I'm confused. I'm just so confused why nothing is fitting me. This is nuts. I opened everything so I can show you guys what I got. Couldn't find out none of this stuff fits properly. Especially the jeans. Y'all just be on the lookout for a lookbook that I'm going to do. I wish I opened this package earlier so I could at least take it to, what is it, the seamstress? Everything just looks super big. I might be sending 90% of this whole thing back. We gonna see. I mean, hopefully this is cute. These were supposed to go with the jeans. Let me get my life together. Okay guys, so everything fits except for the pants. And I ordered two pairs of pants from Pretty Little Thing. But everything else fits perfectly fine. I know for a fact I will not be able to wear the jeans because they were just too big and way too long. I don't know what Pretty Little Thing's tall standards are, but I must have missed something because those pants look like they're made for someone who is six foot and above. I'm only 5'8", 5'9", so 
I don't know. I'm just, it's so hard shopping for tall girls. You just never know if it's going to touch your ankles, if it's going to go past your ankles. Like, are we giving capris or are we actually giving some nice quality length jeans? And I just knew I had the right size. I ordered a size 12, which is my size in jeans. And then I just got tall. I don't know why they seem so much bigger than a size 12. I also don't know why the jeans are long AF. So for the second pair of pants, the stone linen high waist straight leg pants that you guys saw earlier. Those, I don't know, it's kind of iffy. Like they fit, but the waist could be a little bit smaller. I don't know, is it just a good day? Like am I just small today? Am I not bloating today? I mean, I'm not complaining, but they're a good length, but the waist is just too big. I'll be getting my money back on the jeans for sure. I'm trying to see if I could tweak the other pants instead of returning them, which I think I will just go to the store to get a safety pin, a box of safety pins, because it's just, I just don't have enough time to return them or try to get them to fit me. All right, y'all, I'm getting myself together so I can leave to go to my wax appointment. And I'm also gonna go ahead and drop off these jeans to the United States Postal Services. I went ahead and um, prepared my return. So these are the jeans that I got. I'll post a screenshot of what they look like or what they're supposed to look like. They're really nice jeans and I'm really upset that they don't fit. Y'all, what are the chances that the beauty supply store sells safety pins? Because I really don't feel like going to Walmart filling up my Stanley Cup. Y'all gonna see this Stanley Cup. I don't feel like going to Walmart. I don't feel like going anywhere. I'm tired of spending money. I've been spending money all June, believe it or not. But for real, for real though, after Danny's bachelorette weekend, this weekend, I'm not doing anything until their wedding in October. I'm so serious. I'm being so serious right now. I'm being so serious. Like... I'm not doing anything that costs over $100. Okay, that's a lie because I'm actually going to New York with my family in August, but that's nothing. That's nothing because we're spending our dad's money. So August doesn't really count. Anyways, I'm getting ready to leave, just turning everything off. I did not eat breakfast or lunch. I honestly hate leaving the house when I haven't ate because that leads to me buying something and I'm already in the mood for Chipotle. But the goal is to come back and eat one of these salads. <laughs> All right, guys, I just got back from my nail appointment. My nails look so good. This style is very different for me because I usually just get French tip or a solid color, but I'm really excited that I got something different. Shirley is so sweet. I'll have all her information down below in the description box. So I'm getting ready to eat lunch. I'm just gonna eat some ramen noodles. <sighs> Might as well just go ahead and put them in the microwave. Let me know what you guys like to do. Do you guys like to make your noodles in the microwave or you guys just like to put them on the stove? I usually am a microwave type of noodle girl, but recently I've been doing mine on the stove. But honestly, it's really no difference in my opinion. While that's heating up, I'm gonna show y'all what my room looks like right now. I'm trying to get my outfits together. So this was the second pair of pants that were too big. I'm wearing this dress. Don't worry guys, cause I am doing a lookbook video. I'm gonna be trying on all these outfits, putting them together so you guys can see what they look like on. So stay tuned for that. This top fits good. I wish it was a little bit smaller, but it's gonna work. And with these green, with this green top, I was supposed to wear um, those blue jeans, but they were just way too big. I was gonna go to H&M and get another pair of high-waisted jeans, but 
there's no point. I have a pair in my closet that I got a few weeks ago for Stephanie's birthday weekend. And I'll just wear those again. I don't really care. The only problem with those jeans is that they don't go all the way down to my ankle. And I'm wearing sandals this time rather than heels. So they'll look a little bit shorter on me. Here's my bathing suit for the pool party. And then we are also, we're also having a pajama night slumber party, whatever. I don't know what it's called. But we were asked to get these pajamas so we can all match. So that'll be exciting so my outfits are together I need one more outfit because I think on Saturday night after dinner we're supposed to be going out so I need to pack an outfit that I can wear out to wherever we go honestly don't know what's going on with my sinuses but they need to chill out today and it's still going y'all see this this is why I wear the claw clip. I try to be cute with a little ponytail, but my hair is down my back and it is hot. This is attempt number two with me doing these flexi rods. I feel like I'm having a way better experience than I did the first time. One, because I got the hairspray, and two, I also got another pack of flexi rods. So instead of only having nine in my head, I have 12 now. So I did three per section, and I have four sections, and I'm on the last one. It's 10.42 p.m. I can't believe I'm going to sleep like this. I know it's gonna come out really good. If you guys wanna see what it's gonna look like, you have to subscribe because I'm not revealing how it looks until the next video. But this vlog does not end here. You guys will see me in the morning while I'm finishing gathering my things before I get on the road, so. They met the Mark County Sheriff's Office issued a scam alert for someone impersonating a sergeant. I just got out of my room until 2 a.m. All right, guys, I'm in the car. I'm running late, so this is going to be very short. Basically, I packed everything up. I had a good breakfast, and now I'm late. So I'm headed to Browselton, Georgia, all the way from Charlotte, North Carolina. I have a three-hour drive to make it down there by 3.30 p.m. If you guys are interested in what I'm doing this weekend for Danny's Bachelorette weekend, make sure you guys stay tuned. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you guys don't miss an upload. You guys will see everything that I'm doing this weekend in next week's upload. And thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next week.